What's going on, peoples? Today I'm doing an unboxing. It's actually gonna be from yesterday, but to get a video out daily, I split it up into two different parts. But today I got some small crickets. Two weeks, two weeks old, and. Uh, some micro super lines. I got a total of, I believe, 9,000 crickets. Mm -hmm. I believe 9,000 supers as well. My arm feels a lot better. I still got a doctor appointment on the 20th. I'm able to move it more motion than usual. Uh, most of the time I don't have the sling on, but when I'm busy doing something, I put it on to prevent myself from overextending it. Um, out of instinct, um, I think two days ago I was working with the babies and one of them almost jumped out of my hands and I went to reach for it and it pulled my bicep tendon back. So I'm wearing it just for precaution right now, so I won't overdo nothing with it. Pretty much like a mental reminder. But it's definitely a lot better than it was originally. And I ordered these from Rainbow Millworms. I know I usually don't say where I got them from, but I'm go ahead and say it. Most people are not anyway from the package. Yeah, I got 6,000 crickets. 6,000 crickets. And, uh, what I'm going to do is empty the middle ones out first and the bigger one. And then pour, pour them from the bigger one into the smaller one. Got some crickets loose in the box already. How many I got? Can't read the writing on there. I think it's four thousand or eight thousand. Another order of um, Black Soldier Fly Larva. Uh, should be here by the end of the week. Or uh, beginning of next week. I ordered 50,000 of those. I bought medium. Flying everywhere. Every time paper moves, they shoot. They so small and lightweight they were flying everywhere when I when I unfold one part of the newspaper they 
the saloon shot out. And they put them in these big netted bags, so some of them were escaping out of the net as well. The small ones. But it's still got to get them out. That's the first bag right there. I forgot the quantity. I'm going to look it up and uh, hot insert the quantity right here. Make sure you stay to watch until the end of the video. I'm gonna show show me feeding some of these to some of the babies. They love the small super worms. They like to them up like noodles, but you gotta be careful that they don't overeat. So I feed small quantities about probably three times a day. Just keep them from overeating. Sometimes they overeat and uh Cause them to vomit. And when they vomit, they can uh, get fluid in their lungs. And aspirate. So, I try to do smaller, smaller uh, feedings. Pretty much with everything. They seem to grow better when you feed that way too. You do smaller meals multiple times a day versus um, bigger bigger meals one time a day. So if you if you're able to do smaller meals multiple times, it's better than doing a in my in my my opinion from my experience. That's what I have noticed. Also, I'm going to check in on those two eggs that they haven't hatched yet and see if they were going on. I haven't looked at it. I didn't look at it yesterday to see if they hatched out yet or if the eggs look like they're going bad. If they look going, look like they're going bad, I'm going to cut them open and see what's going on in the inside. Try to keep you guys uh, posted on everything that's going on just in case you're curious. Also, I may be selling my tegus to one of my buddies. Um, they're real cool animals. But I think I want to focus more on my bigger dragons and my Egyptian Um Let me know um, your opinion. Should I keep my tegus or should I sell them? Put it in the comments below. The camera stopped while I was doing the crickets, but 
I got them all out. Total is 6,000. Right there. So I'm gonna go uh, feed off some super worms. You guys seen them eat dubia? You guys seen them eat cricket? You haven't either seen them eat super worms yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show a video of that, them eating that. They, they seem to really like the super worms. Um, but I still try to give as much variety as possible. So yeah, we're right back. I'll go ahead and give them some crickets too. They eat those pretty fast. I'm gonna pull out the the two eggs. Well, one of them hatched now, and the other one has a shiny look to it, which usually means that the baby has passed away inside the egg. So I'm gonna cut that one open and see what happened to it. I'm gonna let this one soak in some water and clean off. Prior to putting it away with his clutch mix.
We'll put a flashlight on it to be sure. If the veins are, if the veins have receded, then once the baby died, if you still see veins, I'll probably put it back in the incubator. Even though I'm pretty sure it's bad. I can see the baby in there, but no veins. I can see the tail from the baby. If I can see any movement, no movement, no veins. I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. That will go nice and healthy. You can even, it even smells like it's gone bad. Yeah, it stinks. And not not always is a deformity. Sometimes they just don't have the strength to get out of the egg or the egg tooth breaks or something. Look like it has started to absorb his yolk to stopped. His cheeks are swollen for some reason. Maybe because it was dead for a couple of days. But fully formed. It has started absorbing his yolk and just died in the egg. Maybe it's suffocated. Not sure. It was supposed to break out the egg before it started absorbing. It was a leather bag. But it stinks. So I'm going to put that away. Fully formed. I don't see any deformities on it. No kinks. All I notice is the, the yolk is smaller. Oh, it's pretty hard. The yolk is pretty hard. And then the cheeks are pretty swollen. See, it almost looks like it has an underbite. So maybe the egg tooth couldn't reach the egg to cut out. Alright guys, you have a good one.